Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Creator. Today in this video, I would like to discuss about the interview process of the job that I have got. So the role is a graduate consultant developer uh, and it is in ThoughtWorks. So yeah, that is what the job offer I have. And I, in this video, I will uh, discuss all the mm, rounds that I had and uh, how difficult it was. So I will discuss everything. And uh, um, yeah, I've been getting a lot of questions on uh, linkedin as well as in the comment section so i'm trying to answer all the questions in the comment section but now it is getting really hard to reply to everybody on linkedin but i will still uh, reply to uh, all the messages uh, but now what i'm thinking is uh, to go live on maybe youtube or maybe on twitch i don't know yet uh, whatever will be the uh, better option and whatever you guys will be comfortable with so uh, do let me know um, if you want me to do that so that i will come live once a week and you guys can join me on the live stream and you can ask uh, whatever questions you have and i'll be able to answer those questions and also i'm thinking that i will uh, uh, put a post let's say if i'm doing a stream on friday so i'll put a post on uh, maybe monday or something so that you guys can uh, post all the questions in the uh, community post and uh, then I will uh, take all the questions and I will answer it in the uh, live stream and you guys can come and uh, you can ask follow-up questions if you have any uh, so that way I think I'll be able to answer a lot of questions and also uh, it will be able to reach more people so that way I think I'll be able to help all of you uh, in a very efficient way but uh, don't worry I will reply on uh, LinkedIn as well and in comment section as well but then still uh, so that I can help on a, a larger scale so that's why i'm thinking of this thing so yeah uh, with that being said uh, let's start our discussion but again anyways uh, as always uh if you are new here or if you want to subscribe to the channel please go subscribe to the channel and be a part of programming creative family and also hit the bell icon so that you get notified each time when a video goes live and if you end up liking this video please give it a thumbs up it keeps you motivated to make such videos for you guys so yeah uh with that being said let's start the discussion so yeah, the first round was with the hiring manager and uh, it was for half an hour and uh, he told me about the company and everything, how the things are there and uh, uh, location and uh, then he asked me about uh, my uh, my experience and uh, what I have done before and what I'm doing now and uh, what all skills I have. Uh, so just a general talk, nothing technical, nothing too hard. So it was just a normal talk and uh, so after that he was uh, fine and he was like okay uh, let's move on with the uh, let's move on with the uh, further process but then i was like if it is for a general developer or anything i would not become uh, i would not be continuing this interview process but i if it is for specifically for data science or, or anything related to data i'll be fine with that so he was like uh, at this point we don't know uh, why we are hiring you but uh, it depends on uh, it, it all depends on the openings that will be have uh, at the time of your joining so we can't say anything so i was like in that case i probably won't be uh, able to come continue this uh, interview because i want a data specific job so he was like okay then we can do one thing you continue with the uh, interview process and in the last round we will uh, have you a data centric uh, interview with the, our uh, data service line head so i was like okay fine that would be uh, perfectly fine for me so i went through all the interview process and i'll discuss about everything uh, in this video so the next round was uh, a coding round so it was on hacker rank maybe or hacker earth so I, I always get confused between both of them uh, so yeah uh, that was the thing so there were two uh, programming problems and uh, there were 15 uh, multiple choice uh, questions so the programming problem you could choose your any preferred language so i chose python and uh, if you want to know the difficulty level of those problem uh, on us if i take a standard scale from lead code if you go to lead code and see medium problems so it was at par with the medium problems so again for some people medium problems will be easy and for some people medium problems will be hard so i can't say that uh, for me it was easy so it will be easy for everyone so that's why i chose the scale of lead code so because there they have easy medium and hard so the problem that i had it was at par with the medium problems on lead code so if you are able to solve medium problems on lead code you will be just fine in interviews but then again it depends on company to company maybe some company will ask even harder questions and some company will ask even easier questions so 
we don't know that but still uh, to be on a safer side if you are able to solve medium problems you will be just fine uh, yeah so that was the uh, programming part part and after that we had this uh, 15 questions so these questions were based on sql uh, programming again uh, there was some code snippet and there you wanted you had to tell what will be what will be the output of uh, those code snippet and uh, then there was this um, uh, uh, solid uh, programming principles so yeah you had to tell if this code has something wrong which could be improved and you can uh, do some uh, manipulation in the code and i mean you don't you didn't have to but then in options there were options so you have to select uh, what is the problem with this code and how it can be uh, changed so yeah it, the main objective of this uh, multiple choice was to see if uh, there is anything uh, wrong in the code and if what will be the output of the code and uh, SQL so this was the first technical round after that there was this uh, second technical round which was uh, some coding that I had to do and it was for NR and uh, they had given me a github repository link where this code was already done but in the interview what i had to do was i had to add some more features so they so uh, they gave me this repository two days before my interview so i had time to check everything and set up my environment so that i'll be able to run it on my system so basically it was a shopping cart and uh, it was already properly built all i had to do was add two or three features in that so it was not that hard it hardly took i mean i had to add three features and it hardly took me around 15 to 20 minutes and the round was for an hour so we had some uh, constructive discussions and we talked about code we talked about the company and all those things so yeah this round was for an hour and it was not too hard but again it all it again depends on your uh, programming efficiency and programming uh, proficiency i should say so yeah that was the thing that was the second technical round or overall if we say uh, third round now the fourth round was this um, cultural round where uh, you had to tell uh, i mean there were uh, 24 cue cards out of that i had to select one um, there were three sections and each section had a different number of cue cards so total in total there were 24 so I had to select uh, one from each and it was for half an hour, maybe 45 minutes and we had to discuss about things. So uh, in cue cards, uh, the main thing in cue cards were uh, um, if you had faced any problem in your life, what have you learned uh, from it and how did you overcome it and uh, have you ever faced any uh, sorts of racism anywhere. So that was so these type of topics we had to discuss in the in that round and on the same day i had another round uh, which was about my projects that i have done so uh, this was a cultural round and then there was this uh, presentation around where i had to present some of my uh, projects or maybe one project it's totally up to you uh, how you feel and uh, i made a ppt a small one like two two or three slides that's all uh, because I didn't have much to put in slides but it was mainly to tell a story so yeah uh, it, it's, it was like a presentation round so they were seeing how well you present your uh, work so yeah so I presented my final year project from bachelor because I faced a lot of challenges in that and uh, the idea behind the project was really interesting so that's why I chose my final year project uh, so yeah, uh, these two rounds were on the same day and uh, after this, uh, the hiring manager was happy to uh, give me the offer. Uh, but then again, he asked me, do you still want to go for that uh, data science round or do you want the offer? I was like, I want to go for another round and for the data service line. He was okay, fine. We will arrange you another uh, interview with him. And uh, then he arranged that. And in that round, uh, that round went, uh, went for like around an hour or so in that uh, he asked me about uh, statistics machine learning and uh, deep learning deep learning was mainly uh, discussion it was not exactly questions and answer it was a most it was most most of the time it was a discussion and we were like uh, 
he was telling me about the things they are doing and uh, he asked me how did you learn um, deep learning because it is evolving every day so how do you keep yourself up to date so all these kind of questions and also he was like uh, which part of deep learning do you like the most like nlp or uh, cnn things uh, so yeah again and there are a lot of things right in deep learning so he asked me all of those things and uh, he was like which one do you like the most and uh, it was a general talk it went well and uh, then i got offer also so yeah this was the whole process and if i tell you uh, very frankly this was probably one of my best interview experience i've ever had like since the beginning i'm, I'm talking about like in india and here also here i have only one interview so far because uh, after i got this offer i didn't really apply anywhere else so yeah and then now i'm doing internship which i got from a meetup so yeah this was the only interview that i have had in the uk so i don't really know if this is the same case throughout the companies but uh, yeah this was the best experience that i have ever had uh, so yeah this is what uh, i had to uh, talk about in this video and if you have any specific questions and if you still have any doubt uh, related to interview process you can always ask me in the comment section and like i told you i'm thinking to do this uh, live stream every week once every week so if you are interested in that do let me know in the comment section i will try to do that uh, from next week or maybe by the end of this week as well so we'll see how it works out if i'm able to set up everything so yeah this is it and if you want to join telegram group you can join telegram group you can comment uh, you can connect with me on uh, linkedin as well you can uh download data science notes if you want link is in the description all the important links are in the description so you can check out the description and uh, yeah this is it for this video hope to see you in the next video bye happy learning don't forget to subscribe share like and comment all those good things so yeah happy learning